imagine that you are in the city of Medina and that the year is 11 after Hijra. Our Prophet ﷺ has just passed away and the event of Saqifa has just occurred. The Shia of Imam Ali السلام, are being forced to pledge allegiance to the new ruler. I want to know if you were in that situation, what would you do? Would you give bay'ah under taqiyya and help the Ahl al-Bayt in secret? Or would you speak out and risk your own life and potentially the lives of your loved ones as well? Or would you do something else? If it was Salam Kim, if it was definitely if it was only myself involved with no other people, I would speak out and take actions by any means necessary. If I was in that situation, there might be the possibility that if I had family um, to protect, I would um, do takia, but I would try and sort of like work um, beneath the scenes to um, oppose the um, to oppose their um, their action. But only if my loved ones and family uh, were directly threatened. If my wealth was threatened and sort of like worldly possessions, that wouldn't worry me because they don't mean anything in the hereafter. But if I had to do taki, I would definitely try to um, work um, beneath the scenes. The same as a long time ago, um, the assassins would secretly work beneath the scenes. Yes, yeah. Yes, of course. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that Taqiyya is acceptable in Islam when you're in a life and death situation. Now, I want you to picture that you are standing outside the house of Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. This, of course, is the house where our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi he used to go there and greet his family with such love and warmth. I want you to picture that you are now seeing the enemy come towards the house and the threat has been made. But Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam has refused their entry. I want you to imagine now that the door has been pushed and you hear the scream of Fatima to Zahra and you see them set fire to the house. How would you feel seeing such a thing? And how would you react? I would feel shocked that how they could do this um, just after the demise of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi and um, do it to the Prophet's daughter. And I would try anything, I th my reaction would be try anything to react against them. Doing a, a, um, committing a deed like this. Was it throwing something at them, picking up some sort of um, um, instrument of defence? As they had attacked us, I was, had attacked the house, I would believe it would be my right um, to defend Our Lady of Light, to um, do anything to defend her. No matter who I was attacking. I want you now to imagine that the attack has now finished and you walk towards the house of Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam and you find her lying on the ground, she's unconscious and around her, her children, Al Hassan wal Hussein, Zainab and Um Kulfum, they're incredibly distressed. They're trying to wake their mother up. They're crying. What would you do to try and ease such a difficult situation? Well, first of all, um, um, to attend to our lady and uh, protect and comfort her children. Because um, being a mother, not it's right to see children in, dis in distress and um, to give them a hug and comfort them in the best way possible. and try to tell them that um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta ta is with them. And any wrongdoers will, will, will be punished, if not in this life, in the hereafter. They'll get their judgment. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the the, the Ahlul Bayt alayhim as -salam, they do remind us that no matter what oppression we face in this world, even if the oppressors, they seem to get away with their crimes, there is a day of judgment and they will face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the crimes that they have done. Finally, sister, I would like you to imagine, again, you're in Medina, but this time you are with Imam Mehdi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance on the earth. I want you to imagine that you're walking beside him and he's taking you somewhere. And you say, Yabna Rasulullah, where are we going? And he turns to you and says, I'm taking you to the grave of my grandmother, Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Now, we don't know where Lady Fatima alayhi salam is buried. Due to the oppression that was done onto her, she was asked to be buried at night so her killers would not know where her grave is. I want you to imagine that you are standing in front of that grave for the very first time. You are in front of Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam, the mistress of all the women of the world, the leader of all the women of the world, the light of the eyes of our Prophet. What would you say to her if you could say anything to her? I'll, I would say at last, we know where your grave is. And that's one thing I've always wanted to know. But in the meantime, what was important to me was that your light shone every, everywhere through your progeny, through the 12 Imams, Alayhi Musalam, and when I look, I'm able to look at the sky at night, I see your light everywhere in the moon and the, the stars and the starlight. And whenever I've looked at that sky, when I've been somewhere, I've been able to see the stars, I've always thought, thought of you and how it's always brought tears to my eyes to gaze upon that light. And may your oppressors and those people who took action against you May they be given a terrible punishment in the hereafter. Amen. Amen. Yes, it's. I pray, inshallah, that we live to see the day where we may know where our Lady Fatima, alayhi salam, is buried. And I know until that day, within the heart of each Shia, there is a shrine for Fatima to Zahra, alayhi salam. I thank you so much, sister, for coming on Imagine and being with us today. And I thank you for your lovely insights. I pray that Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam is pleased with your efforts and your actions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm and steadfast on the path of the Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam. And may he hasten the reappearance of our master, Sahib al-Zaman, so he may bring goodness and justice back to this world after evil and injustice has filled it. <laughs> خدا کند که بیایی خدا کند تو نور غیر نوایی خدا کند Oh